So I get asked this question a lot as far as how I have this setup right here that you're seeing. How am I able to stream high quality audio from my DAW and at the same time record a second mic that I can then manipulate differently in post-processing? Well, what I'm using is an Aiden Blackmagic switcher, which is a very pricey piece of equipment. And over time and creating different iterations of this particular setup, this is what I landed on to kind of be my solution. Well, what I wish I knew about was something called Audio Movers Omnibus. And this is basically working like a virtual patch bay with a huge routing matrix that is super easy to use that can give me the ability of one, live streaming, that high quality audio from my door to Twitch uh, and other platforms. It'll also allow me the ability to even connect all of this outboard gear without a patch bay and being able to manipulate it in my door instead. It'll also allow me the ability to do tutorials and how to videos like this as well. Being able to do a screen capture of my door, but at the same time, routing that audio high quality to um, uh, something that can be recorded on my screen through a program. Let me show you this program. Um, it's really, really cool. I wish I knew about it long ago. I'll now probably be, be using this uh, to make my life a, a little bit easier with things, but I wish I knew about it before I had this Blackmagic switcher um, that has held me down for so long and maybe it can help you as well. Audio Movers was so gracious to actually send me over this application and sponsor this video. I really appreciate it. And when I opened it up and tried it out for myself, I said, oh my gosh, I think people are going to really like this. Um, so draw your own conclusions from this after you watch this. But um, I really think you're going to like this. Let's dive into it. OK, so first things first, right here, we have a session. And if I press play on the session, ta-da, absolutely nothing. We hear nothing. So we're trying to figure out right now, how do we connect Omnibus and all of this craziness together to work? So let's say, for instance, you've installed Omnibus and everything is working and the whole nine as far as it's installing successfully. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Playback Engine. And for you, if you're on Logic or whatever your DAW is, this is kind of like you saying, hey, what interface do you want me to listen to or take information from? So for me, I'm going to click Omnibus A, like so. And now my computer or my DAW is listening and taking information from Omnibus A. So now that it's listening to Omnibus A, all my ins and outs and stuff like that are now uh, functioning off of Omnibus A. So let's make this all connect uh, with Omnibus. So now this is Omnibus, very pretty. And what I'm gonna do is I just want general sound. I want sound out of my door and I want basically Omnibus to say, hey, I'm gonna take this and bring it to your speakers over here. So what I would have to do is I would have to go to uh, Omnibus channel one and two, as you can see right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to route Omnibus channel one and two to my Symphony IO uh, interface one and two outputs. So basically everything that you see here on the left hand side, and don't worry, I'm going to explain all of this. Everything you see on the left hand side correspond with my DAW. This is basic, basically the playback or the outputs of my actual DAW. So this is my DAW playback as far as the outputs is concerned in Pro Tools. So I want outs one and two from my DAW to feed one and two on my actual Symphony IO. So let's do that right quick. So I'm gonna say one is corresponding with one and two is corresponding with two, simple. And now I'm gonna go to my DAW, I'm gonna press play. And we have sound. Now from there, we can even go a little further. And don't worry, I'm gonna dive into the plugin and show you how to use it exactly. But you see how simple that was just to kind of connect the door. Now I'm good. Now everything that comes out of my door is gonna play seamlessly. You may even be asking the question of latency. And here's the surprise uh, for me uh, as well. Check this out. I'm good to go. I don't feel that latency. Um, it's pretty seamless. Uh, even when I've tried it with my microphone, it was seamless. I could record. It didn't affect me in any way. And that's one thing I noticed with a lot of virtual uh, drivers or mixers. Sometimes they're not all created equal. I know about Soundflower. I know about Greedy. Trust me, I've been through a plethora of them and ran into a lot of issues. But this one was super easy, super simple. Um, let's keep this going. 
So the next question you may be having to yourself as far as a streamer or content creator, uh, if you are, is how would you get this audio to go into something like an OBS that allows you to stream high quality audio to Twitch, YouTube, uh, TikTok, Instagram, all of those things. This was always a big issue for me. Uh, and this is a, another reason why I got my Atom switcher to kind of help me with that problem. But now with this, I'm gonna show you how I connect it super easy to actually get that high quality sound going into OBS so I can stream on other platforms. Okay, so long story short, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go into OBS, right? And we're going to create an input capture. So basically this is OBS and we're gonna ask it or OBS is asking me, okay, what do you want me to do? What sound or where do I get it from, right? And a lot of times it was very hard. You couldn't just say, listen to my uh, computer audio. It gets really sticky, but this makes it a little easier. So I'm gonna go to add a source, add input capture. We're gonna call this DAW, D-A-W. Say, okay. Okay, and now it's asking me, what do you want me to listen to? As you can see, Omnibus A is right here. So I'm gonna click Omnibus A, boom, like so. And now there is an actual uh, thing here that says DAW. Now, inside of Omnibus, what I need to do is, I need to make Omnibus outputs communicate with the Omnibus inputs. So what I'm gonna do right now is, I'm gonna go to my Omnibus channels one and two because this is the feed that I want to come out because these are my DAW outputs, right? This is the output of my DAW one and two. And I want this to go into the input of Omnibus one and two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say one, two, because this is Omnibus A going from one and Omnibus two going into two inputs and outputs. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my DAW like so. I'm gonna press play and then we're gonna look into uh, OBS and see where we got. So, we got sound, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into OBS, and look at that, we have sound. So as we look at that, we can see that we got sound going into OBS, it was seamless, and now literally the full quality of my DAW is feeding into OBS that then allows me to play with things and do a, a bunch of, um, you know, whatever I want with my DAW intact. The other side of it is, how about this microphone we say to ourselves, right? How can I get a whole separate channel feed and the whole nine that I don't want to go through this DAW uh, section? And the reason why that can be very uh, advantageous to you is because sometimes when I see a lot of streamers using a microphone that's actually being used in the DAW as their microphone to talk to you, if they close the DAW, they close the signal to the mic. And I don't want that. I wanna be able to close my DAW, move around freely and not worry about my microphone signal getting cut or anything of that nature. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go right back over to Omnibus. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna open up another virtual driver or uh, a machine. We're gonna click Omnibus B. And now you see that I got even more um, channels over here to the side. And this will actually show up in my computer as a, another virtual machine or virtual driver, its own, separate. So what we're gonna do is, I know that this microphone right here is on channel one, like a lot of us, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on over here to my Symphony IO, which is my audio interface, and I know that it's coming into channel one. So now I want this signal from channel one to feed into Omnibus, but I'm gonna do it in Omnibus B, where it is a completely separate entity and thing in itself. So I'm gonna go to channel one on Omnibus B, and then I'm also gonna do two just to make somewhat of a multi-mono kind of sound. So now channel one from my interface is now feeding into Omnibus B, straight up, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is, let's go on over to OBS. We're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna do an audio input capture. Let's call this one mic, like so. Let's press okay. Let's click here and guess what? Omnibus B. We're gonna click Omnibus B. We're gonna say okay. And look at that. We have signal, it's separate from the DAW. If I go to the DAW and press play, 
You can clearly see right here that we have two separate signals going at the same time within OBS that is being captured captured by himself. Two instances separate the DAW from my actual talking mic. Super powerful. Okay, let's stop the song. Okay, cool. The other thing that I can show you that this thing can do as far as this routing is concerned is when it comes to screen recording. And why it's super powerful when it comes to screen recording is because a lot of times when I'm actually using screen recording apps or programs, it's really hard sometimes, even with Zoom, to really route that audio directly into my actual screen recording app. So with this, for instance, this is a program that I use called Tap Record. Tap Record is here. It's ready to record the screen, which is going to be no problem, but it's the audio that becomes a problem. So how can I tell Tap Record, hey, this is the signal that I want you to listen to? Long story short, I can go on Omnibus and you can see right here clearly Tap Record has its own uh, source that you can spit out to and make an input from Omnibus. So basically, I can go to the outputs of my actual um, uh, interface or my DAW, which is my software playbacks right here, Omnibus channel one and two, and I can literally feed those directly into channel one and two of Tap Record. And guess what? That screen recording is going to have audio burnt into it, and that's been a big issue for me with other um, uh, programs that I've been having something that easy and that seamless. So that's basically how you would set that up and it's all there for you. Let's get this together. So what I'm going to do right quick for you is I'm going to walk through Omnibus after kind of showing you all that routing and things of that nature. Why don't I walk you around the plugin or excuse me, the application and get you familiar with what it is, how it works and everything. When I mean it's pretty self-explanatory, it be, could be a little intimidating at first as far as routing and stuff is concerned. But when I mean this thing was pretty easy to learn, it was really, really easy to learn. So on the left hand side, we have all of the virtual drivers as well as other devices on my actual computer. We have Omnibus A, B, C and D. Obviously, as I open these up, I create more and more channels that are separate uh, as far as virtual drivers is concerned to get crazy with routing. Setting up Atmos will be a cinch. If I have a bunch of speakers and I want to route all those speakers to different places and different iterations, I can. So that's there. Has a ton of channels. Uh, below that, you have the greedy computer audio, which is one of the problems that I was having. Uh, it was basically kind of like this, but it just gave me so much um, issues, latency and all kinds of things. This is my black magic design even came up my switcher so I can route uh, information uh, from the switcher and things of that nature. I can even do some crazy stuff with my MacBook Pro uh, microphone and route it to a to the left speaker by itself. If you are into that kind of thing. Obviously, I have my Pro Tools uh, virtual um, machines in here as well. Uh, I have my Symphony I.O., of course, built in. One thing I really was happy about was the fact that this output level that was here, I always get scared when I see this type of thing on my uh, interfaces. But the beautiful thing is it's integrated with my interface. As I turn this knob up, it moves with it. So that made me very, very happy that I knew I didn't even have to manipulate that, that it was already going to be set. It's all talking to each other and communicating. So that was there as well. And then, of course, I have Tap Record, which I showed you, Pro Tools Aggregate and all that other good stuff and stuff like that. So another thing or the last thing I really want to show you guys and talk to you about is the fact that something I'm going to experiment with is using Omnibus to connect my outboard gear. So I've been looking into getting a patch bay, of course. And with the patch bay, it allowed me to kind of choose if I want this compressor, for instance, to be for the lead vocal, or if I want it to be for a kick, if I want. Now, a patch bay can become very, you know, expensive uh, in its build and soldering tips. It's a process. But when I was looking at Omnibus, I started to realize, hey, there should be or can be a way for me to basically route all of these ins and outs into my interface through different outs and ins and basically use this as a virtual patch bay to get around and to move things around seamlessly within the actual uh, Omnibus uh uh, application. So I'm really excited to experiment with that. Um, if you guys do want to see me do something on that, then leave a link in the description below. It could save me a ton of money, which is another reason why I was, I jumped at the chance to basically show y'all because I feel like it may potentially help a lot of people that are 
quote unquote gear heads or people that just have gear in general and looking for a solution besides a patch bay. The future is here uh, is the way I'm looking at it. So I really hope that that was helpful. Please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Also, uh, you know, please make sure that you become a paid member as well of our channel where we give a bunch of money in our store, exclusive deals, exclusive episodes of the My Audio Nerds podcast and things of that nature. Again, Audio Movers, thank you so much for sponsoring this video and sending this over. Um, this is here to stay. I'm going to be using this in a bunch of different applications and I'm going to be experimenting with it with that outboard, outboard gear uh, virtual kind of patch bay that I was thinking about. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you feel in the comments below. Until next time, y'all.